Hey, welcome back everybody. Keep your eyes on the skies this weekend because there's a comet shooting by and I'm told it should be a good one. So we brought an actual expert in to talk about what you'll be looking for and how you can see it. We're joined this morning by David. He's the curator emeritus over at the Grand Rapids Public Museums. Uh, planetarium. David, welcome. Thanks for coming in Thank so you. early. Thank I know you. you guys stay up late. So oh, this yeah, is this, is, this is early morning for me. <laughs> well, I appreciate Way it. too early. And hopefully um, we can educate a few people on what they can expect to see this right, weekend. Right, right. Uh, the comet was discovered way back in 2023. Oh, uh, way back then. Yeah, it was just an <laughs> ice ball floating way out uh, among the more distant planets. And it started to blossom. Mm -hmm. um, as the year went on and we, as it got closer and closer to the sun, it started to evaporate and, and threw off more and more dust and gas and a tail developed. And there were predictions that this could be a pretty significant sight in the sky in late October. Well, we weren't sure because it had to go around the sun mm -hmm. and very close to the sun. Under its influence, it could have broken apart. Yeah. But it reappeared last week and has been quite a nice sight in the evening sky. The kicker in all this is that the moon has been at exactly the worst phase possible. <laughs> well, of course. <laughs> it's yeah. almost full moon when the comet was at its best right. uh, earlier this week. And uh, now the moon is rising a little bit later as mm -hmm. we get past the full phase and it's a little bit less light shedding in the sky. So we're going to have a big Big comet party tonight. So where do I, what's the best way to see this? Do I just walk outside tonight and look up? Is it that simple or is, should I get away from the city, get away from light pollution? Oh, yes. What are the get away from as much light as possible. Um, in the Grand Rapids area west of town so you don't have all the urban sky glow to look over. Mm -hmm. And then look up in almost due west and maybe about, let's say, a fourth of the way up the sky in okay. the fading twilight. That would be around 8 p.m. Okay. And uh, or come to the Comet Watch. Where is the Comet Watch? Comet Watch is in Cascade Township Park, okay. beginning at 7:30, out near the airport. We'll have a pretty good view, and we'll have a fairly brief view before the moon comes up and starts <laughs> shedding light. So, come between 7:30, 8:30 p.m. for views of the comet. Binoculars are a big help. That was going to be my next question. Yeah. Is this something that we can see with our naked eye, or will you need vaguely, binoculars? Okay. Vaguely. It's a fine comet, but with light pollution, it's still difficult to see with the naked eye. Okay. More on that comet watch party that you guys are throwing tonight. Uh, does it cost anything? Nope. Should we bring anything outside of binoculars, dress warm, bring food? I mean, what's the situation? We, we will have uh, some telescopes and binoculars available. The bonus will be a view of the planet Saturn, too, through oh, some of our two telescopes. For one tonight. Yes, yes. And it's free. Perfect. And it what is can, free. What it's a pu public service from the Grand Rapids Amateur Astronomical Association. That's great. That's the group that runs the observatory out near Lowell public night next week at the observatory. This is an off night, so <laughs> we got nothing to do, so we'll come out and show the public Might the well. comet. <laughs> what can people expect to see? Will it be just a dot? Will there actually be a, uh, a visible tail? Oh yeah, you'll be able to see the tail. In binoculars, oh, it's a really nice tail. It's one of the better ones I've seen. I've seen a few comets in some 60 years oh, in this wow. business. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've seen some really uh, spectacular comets, uh, like the one we had in the late uh, 90s, uh, Hale Bop. That's what was very memorable. Oh, yeah, yep, I remember that. Um, and this would, this is moderately good. Not, not spectacular, but moderately good. Maybe another one near the end of the month. That's a possibility. Now you don't know for sure it's just being yet? watched. Okay. Well, oh, comets are very unpredictable. <laughs> You don't know how they're going to behave until they show up. <laughs> really, that's the truth. Well, where can we find more information about the Comet Watch Party? Is there a website, planetarium yes, website? Yes, yes. Uh, the Grand Rapids Amateur Astronomical Association, G-R-A-A-A dot org. Okay. Thanks for joining us this morning, David. Now go get some rest. Before, I will. Before I need some coffee. <laughs> we might be able to find you some. Okay. We have a good look at what kind of weather we can be expecting for this Comet Watch Party coming up after the break.